All right, guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bend some pipes that look like this. This is the example, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so just like the other one, I'm trying to bend pipe around these beams, and I'm leaving a uh, coupling in the middle in case the sheet rockers need to pull it apart and slide their sheet rock in or whatever. So it's basically a four-point saddle, but with a cut in the middle. Um, so this is what it looks like, what I got so far. I got three of these. I'm going to show you the, the last one I'm going to do. They're slightly different, but... Um, so that's what I'm going with, just a giant offset, and I'm going with uh, 60 degrees and 60 degrees. Um, so what I got going over here is I picked a measurement, uh, the four and a half inches to the center of the beam, so it'll be centered on each side, and if I need to cut a little bit off, I can do that. But I got four and a half inches to the edge of the beam, so that's where I'm going to start my first bend. And then I'm going down here to uh, 31.8 inches apart. So I went with 37 and 31 and 7 eighths. And how I got that number is, I took the distance of the beam, which is like 26 and a half inches, and I times that by uh, the 60 degree multiplier, which is 1.2. Looked that up online, thanks Google. Uh, so I times 26.5 times 1.2, and that gives me the 31.8, if I remember that correctly. And so once you get your numbers, um, you're just gonna bend that down. You're gonna bend that down on the 60 degree mark on the bender. So put your mark right here on the edge of the pipe. Uh, put my four and a half inch mark right there, and then I'm gonna bend it down to 60 degrees. This bender is a little bit extra, I think, so I kind of bend it to like 58 or 57 or something like that. So um, and I'll mess with it to get it just right, but um, that's what I do. Um, so. I'm just going to put it in here and show you, and then uh, that should do it. And then how to fix it if it's not exactly perfect. Alright, so your first bend is going to go on the arrow. You're going to want to bend that down to the 60. And then next you're going to want to flip it over, and then put it back on the arrow again. Bend it down to 60. Um, had to get that a few times there. And then you're going to want to put your level on it, and then check your measurement. And if it is wrong, then you can take some out. And then if you need to take some more out, you can push on it on the ground because it's half inch, it's flexible. Um, so you can push on it or put it back in the bender. And then um, if you also need to add some more, you can put it in the bender and then bend some more. And then check your measurement again um, with the tape measure. And that's about it. All right, guys, so I got my 26 and three quarters, which it actually was, if you look at it, pretty much close right there. And it's level on the, pretty level on the uh, center of the bubble. So if your pipe isn't straight, like you probably saw, I had to fix it a couple times, but basically just stand on it, pull it up or down, and that'll adjust the bend right there if it's, if you need it take some out just push on it and add some more pull on it and then just make sure that the end of this is pretty level to get your measurement from the ground so you can get around the object that you're trying to go around and that's how you do it um, so yeah hopefully this was helpful or insightful all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it hopefully this video helped you out i'll try to do some more pipe videos after work or anything like that um if i have stuff to do i can do that for you um give them the chance and uh yeah so if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to hit like subscribe see you guys back here for some more videos soon appreciate the support and uh thanks for stopping by uh, if you want to be notified when i upload videos or do live streams hit the notification bell if you want to and uh lastly check the description for anything else as always god bless have an awesome rest of your day peace